Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to another episode of Teach Me Tech. My name is Pete Quist, this is Laurel Gray, and today we're going to look at how to get your life and your projects more organized. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Teach Me Tech. My name is Pete Quist. This is Laurel Gray from GetDigitalFlow.com. Laurel, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Laurel <laughs> is going to talk to us today about getting your tasks and projects in order using a little tool called Asana, which I am extremely excited about on today's episode. So this is the first in a two-part series because we're going to look at how to get started with Asana here today. And then in the next episode, we might look at how to get more out of Asana. How does that sound? Absolutely, that sounds great. <laughs> okay, so before we get started, there is two quick things that I need to mention. First of all, these sessions are highly practical. If you've got a second screen there at home while you're watching, grab it, get involved. You can actually get set up with Asana in this episode. We always make everything that we do on Teach Me Tech uh, something that you can do and set up at home. That's why we have the episodes. And the second thing is we want you to ask and share. Get social on your favorite social platform, no matter what it is. Use the hashtag Teach Me Tech and we'll check out our hashtags as often as we can, but also you can get involved with the community, help each other out, let us know what works, what doesn't work. Maybe you like Asana, maybe you use something completely different. Who knows? Get involved in the conversation online. So let's take a look at what we're going to cover on today's episode. First of all, we are going to take a look at what you need why you need a project, we'll get there eventually, right? Why you need a project management system in your life. How to get the right mindset to make task management work for you. How to set up an account and get started with Asana. How to set up and structure your personal and company profile. How to invite other team members to collaborate with Asana. The basics of projects and some best practices to set them up the different ways to add new tasks to any project, and finally, what to do when a task is complete. So without further ado, I say, let's get started. And the first thing we're going to cover off today, Laurel, is why you need a project management system in your life. Do tell. Well, why wouldn't you? Basically, if you're storing all of your ideas, all of your to-dos, all of your projects in your mind, imagine what that does to your brain and to your productivity, right? Yeah, it fries mine, but it's a very <laughs> yeah. small mind, so it's very <laughs> easy. All right. Absolutely. The whole idea behind Asana or any project task management system is basically getting things out of your head. And the more you start to do that and write things down or type them out, the better it's going to be for your own internal self, right? Um, you're, first of all, you're going to be able to remember things better because you're no longer carrying things around in your brain. You've got them out. And you're going to be so much more relaxed when you're in conversations with your teams or with your customers um, because you know you've got your finger on everything. You've got control over everything that's happening in all of your projects. Okay, now today's episode, I, I think we should probably talk about who is today's episode for? Because on mm. one hand, it's, it's for people that are forever used pen and paper for their mm. to-do lists. But also with regards to business out there, what type of business people is this for? So Asana is amazing because it can be used for any type of business or business owner. Whether you're just a sole trader, you're just starting out, this is your first business, or even if you don't even have a business yet and you're just getting your ideas out there, all the way to businesses with teams of 10, 15, or more employees. Great, and I just want to let everyone know, I actually use Asana in my business as well. Uh, I know that the team at Business Blueprint like a different one, Teamwork PM, but Asana may not be the, uh, the project management tool for everyone. Mm, no, absolutely not. And I, we always recommend to go out and check out different types of tools. So Asana is just one of them. Um, there's also Teamwork PM. 
There's a lightweight version called Wonderlist that you could go and check out. Um, and if you go in the Apple App Store or you just Google, uh, there are lots of other options as well. I can smell a lot more Teach Me Tech <laughs> episodes coming up. They just yeah. keep adding up <laughs> the list. But that's what we do. We're going to check out how to break these down so that you can implement it in your business also. So let's fast forward to the end result. What are people mm -hmm. going to get out of our episode on Asana? Where are they going to be once they've seen our episodes? Well, look, we can't really promise that you're going to be more productive after this episode. Really, what we're going to do is walk through the complete setup process and walk you through how you can get your organization and even your personal projects on Asana and how to really just sort of master the basics. But the real deal with this whole thing is that in order to be more productive, you have to build your habits, right? So they always say 21 days to build a new habit. I think in this case, it takes longer. Because whenever you're using a project and task management system, you've got to be on it every single day. And you've got to remember to put everything new in there and also check off everything that you've done. So it's a big, huge commitment and it's not going to happen overnight. Beautiful. Good advice. So let's move on to how do we get that right mindset? And you touched on there using this every day, but how do we get the right mindset to make task, manager, task management work for us? Well. The first thing you have to do is schedule it in and really just begin to make that a habit every single day. And I recommend that people start every morning. So make it that first thing that pops up in your browser every single morning when you come into the office so that you know that you need to look at it. And you can use Google Chrome, for example, to set it up as a page that just pops up even before your email so that you know that you've got to look at what you've got on for the day before you tackle anything else. Beautiful. So we can actually set up a task to look at our tasks for the day? Uh, yeah, you could. You could set a calendar reminder. Um, I know for me, I commute either on the ferry or by the bus. And so I, it's just a habit for me now. Every morning when I get on the bus, instead of checking messages or getting on Facebook, I open up Asana. And it gives me a chance to really uh, review all the tasks that maybe I forgot to tick off from the day before or add in anything that might be weighing on my mind. Okay, so with regards to getting the right mindset as well, mm. a lot of people might be watching this. They may have tried task management in the past. Mm. What do you think is the difference between someone who does make this work and someone who hasn't been able to make this work? Oh, that's a really good question. Look, that's what I'm paid the big money for <laughs> here on Teach Me Tech. <laughs> well, look, I think that the difference between someone who can really have a go at this and be successful and someone who lets it slide is really just that consistency every day. Um, so Asana, to make the most of it, you're going to have to be checking in on it throughout your day. But it's getting that mindset of, look, that's the first thing that you're going to look at in the morning. I want to keep going back to that. Um, and even right before bed, just to empty out your mind and get everything that's happening out into your system before you, before you sleep. I think for me personally, I don't know what it's like for you, but the reason I love Asana is because I was able to get started with it pretty much instantly. Like it's, you know, if Pete can learn it in a real hurry, it's almost idiot proof, which is what mm -hmm. I love. Mm -hmm. And then very quickly, I figured out that so many of my ideas were already put into Asana that I almost couldn't live without it after a very short period of time because it was so easy for me to move my task list into Asana in the first place. Yep, absolutely. And some, one of the beautiful things about having everything written down and in a place that it's, where it's all consolidated is that you magically start to see things come to fruition. And you've written it down, you've put it out there into the big universe, right? And all of a sudden, tasks just start to get completed. And I know that uh, a lot of my customers, as they begin to use it, they start to realize, oh, actually, when I went to review my task list, I had done a lot of the things on the list just by having it part of a system. Yeah, definitely putting it first and foremost in your mind can make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So. Why don't we have a look at how to set up an account and get started? We've got the computer here on the desktop. So uh, let's jump online, take a look at the website itself, show me around, and why don't we get started? All right. I'm really excited about this part because just last week, Asana went through a major rebranding. It used to be really blue and green in color. And as a visual person, I just love having um, all the beautiful colors that you see here on the main homepage. So uh, when you get onto asana.com. Yes, I was just going to say yeah. for me that the colors don't really matter. So uh, what I know, right? Go figure. Look at me in a black <laughs> and white suit and you've got this beautiful red top on and 
There yeah. we go. You can tell the difference mm -hmm. anyway. So yeah, we can. Yeah, thanks for cutting <laughs> to that camera, Jotham. That was good. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's go back to the website and take a look around the Asana website here. Great. So if you've never been to the Asana website before, um, it's worth really having just to scroll through and familiarizing yourself with the look and feel. What I love about it is that you've got a lot of white space and. Um, that also is true in the desktop version as well as the mobile applications, both for your mobile phone and on the tablet. And for me, having a little bit of extra space helps me to be a bit more creative and feel like I can express myself and get all my ideas out. So we can find out a little bit more about Asana on the website here before we get started if we need to? Yep, okay. absolutely. Great. So the website's great. If you keep scrolling down, you can find out a lot more about all the product features by scrolling down the page. But I think we're ready to just get started now. What do you think? Why don't we just jump in? And the, another thing that we need to mention for the viewers is the fact that Asana, you can get started for free. Yeah. And mm. in fact, I'm st still using Asana to this day and I still use the free account. Sorry for anyone from Asana who's like, damn it, how do we get money out of Pete on this one? But that's how good it is. <laughs> and mm. the great part about that is I'm able to refer on a lot of other people to it. So if we're going to set up a free account, what are the steps? All right, well, it's important to note as well, that you can have up to 15 users in your organization on the free account. So they make it really simple for you. Either you can log in or get started for free. And they also make it really simple for those of you who are using Google Apps for work or perhaps a free Gmail account if you're just getting started with your business to sign in using a single sign-on. Alternatively, if you're using uh, another email system, you can just enter your email address to sign up. Okay, great. And I'm assuming it sends through a confirmation email and away you go? Absolutely. So let's test it out now. What it's going to do here is going, um, I'm logged into a, an admin at demo.company uh, email address. This is just for demonstration purposes. And it's already linked in with Google Apps for Work. So what happens is it opens up an authorization page and you have to grant Asana permission. So we're just going to say allow here. It's going to work its magic. Beautiful. And that just logs us in you, with a one-click process. And yep. then uh, Asana as well, it's very important to, to note once you are logged in, it remembers your login as well, doesn't it? Yep, exactly. Great. Unless, of course, you deliberately want to sign out or log out if you're on a, a public computer or anything of the like. Mm. And if you are on a public computer, once you're already logged into either your free Gmail or your Google Apps for Work account, you will automatically be able to log into Asana. Great. So you never okay. have to remember two passwords. Okay, just great. The one. So we're logged in. We've got the welcome video. We're going to skip that today, and we're just going to click on the uh, continue button. Yep. And it says here, please start by completing your profile. I've just put John Doe here, but I'm American, so what's the proper way that I should do? Joe Blogs, right? Well, we we've got our American audience out there as well, so All let's right. let's stick with John right. Doe. Okay, we can stick with John Doe. <laughs> All right. So Joe Blogs. Joe there Blogs. We go. It took me a while to get used to that. I don't know who came like up with that. that name. It's good. All right. So let's just set it up with Demo Company. And as you can see here, it's already populated with our email address. Great. You can um, add a photo if you want to, just to drag and drop. Yep, you can. W would you like to do that now, or do you want to skip that oh, step? Let's skip that. We don't need to add our photo right now. Okay. All right. So it's going to ask us who's on our team. Now, at the moment, let's just pretend that John Doe here is working alone. He's a sole trader and he's just started up his first business. So if you don't have anybody on your team, it's no problem. You can just skip because you can always go back later and add more team members. Right. Okay. And what should we call your team? Now, this is the part where people start to get a little bit stuck, especially if you've got a small business. Um, it can be tricky to think about what to call each of your teams. Look, I recommend if you're just starting out, just call it demo company. Okay, great. So we're just going to name it after the company to give us something to work mm -hmm. with? Yep, or whatever your business name is called. Um, you can always add in sub-teams, such as your marketing team, your IT team, whatever, later on. Great. Okay, and then continue. And that's it. We're in mm -hmm. into the uh, workspace, and we might just zoom in on this so that we can see it a little bit better as well on, on the desktop there, Ooh. which is fantastic. And what we might do is, uh, coming up after the break, we might take a look at how to set up and structure your personal and company profile uh, in this so that we can get the most out of Asana. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds great. So I'm Pete Quist. That's Laurel Gray. We'll be back with more Teach Me Tech after this. Welcome back. You are... 
To continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.